A crypto YouTuber lost 50,000 worth of crypto after accidentally exposing their private keys on a live stream. Bitcoin ETF, what does it mean price-wise for the entire crypto market? And speaking of price, let's talk XRP price action heavily in this video. What does the whiteboard say? Sooner or later. You'll see what I'm talking about. And what if I told you major crypto publications out there are starting to call out the hopium pumpers because of the damage they're doing to the crypto industry? See, it's not just me, everyone. One shot 555 says, why would Bricks want to stop using the dollar but use crypto? Yeah, exactly. They call me Craigers says, pumps and dumps. Isn't that your OnlyFans channel name? On a serious no grave video, keep up the good work, brother Klaus. Dude, seriously, that should be the name of my OnlyFans channel. XRP XCC Pumps Uno Bug Me says, I'm seriously considering cashing out all of my ex lemon dealing naughty things. It's just as risky and I won't have to pay taxes. Uno Bug Me, comment of the day. Bitcoin's in at 27,168 ETH, 1706. XRP up a little bit from the ETF pump. We'll get into some price action here later. Sitting at 52.4, while XLM right now under 12 cents at down 2.32% last 24 hours. This YouTuber lost $50,000 after a self-custody blunder. A Brazilian YouTuber channel, Fritter9 Crypto, lost over 86,000 Matic tokens after mistakenly opening a file that revealed his private key on a live stream. According to ex-user Guillermo Reno, YouTuber even lost all the money by accidentally opening a notebook with his private key. Reno shared a clip from the live stream where the YouTuber accidentally did that. By the way, though, what was nice was the actual money crypto was returned to him. So we do have some good people out there in the space, and that's it, you. You're, you're part of that good people crowd. All right. Bitcoin ETF likely to secure approval. 75% chance in 2023. 95% chance in 2024. Bitcoin eyes, 150,000 eyes. Okay. We're going to talk a lot of price action in this video. And the reason we are, it has to do with the whiteboard sooner or later. If you call everything, sooner or later, you're gonna be right, right? I mean, if you call a dollar, $10, $1,000, $1 million, sooner or later, you'll be right. It doesn't make you a pro, it just means you're throwing so many darts at the wall that eventually you're gonna hit the target. But we saw the recent market pump on ETF news. Now, once an ETF gets approved, we would expect a larger pump than what we saw. Now, now let's be fair, pumps and dumps, right? We're not talking about my OnlyFans account name. We're talking about what's been happening with this market. Nothing's holding. So if a Bitcoin ETF were to actually happen, would it pump and dump? Or do you believe the pump would last? Comment down below and let me know. But let's get into it. Expert anticipates 950% XRP surge to 550. Identifies inverted. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Let's talk about this. Crypto analyst E. Greg has identified the emergence of an inverted hammer formation on XP's two-month chart. The pattern proves to be a reliable indicator of a substantial rally with strong historical precedence. The analyst called attention to the pattern in his latest analysis of XP price movement. According to E. Greg, what's truly exceptional is the steadfastness of XP's market structure over an impressive 426-day period. Would have been more impressive if it was a 420-day period. Analyst unveils 60X with 76,800% price projection to 400. Again, this is e -Greg Crypto. Like the whiteboard said, sooner or later, if you call out everything, you're going to be right. Here's what's messed up about this. This post came out today calling out for that massive gain, right? The massive gain of 76,800. That came out today. Now, a week ago, August 23rd, the target was $125. So we go 400, we go 125. Hold on, hold on, I'm not done yet. And we got another one. Analyst, the only clear one, $125. They also did a $24 prediction not too long ago. That was about 10 days ago. So again, these YouTubers, these X Twitter users, right, want views. So all they do is just keep throwing crazy astronomical numbers at the board and they're posting like a million times a day because people aren't going to scroll through it all. They're just going to see these big numbers and latch onto it. Now, here's what I want to show you. What about AI's price prediction? Oh, girlfriend, let's get back to reality here. By the way, I did a price prediction video and people didn't like it because I pointed out facts and a lot of people got butthurt. They couldn't disprove me with their facts because they don't have facts. They just have hopium like this bullshit here. 
but I did. At the end of this video, I'm going to have a story linked regarding my price prediction along with crypto publications calling out bullshitters like this. Check it out. AI's price prediction at the end of this month, according to the tools predictions, XRP is predicted to trade at 52 cents on September 30th, 2023. Oh, so we're going to go sideways the whole month. Oh, kind of like what you're seeing right here. Kind of like what you saw before the Torres action. See, and the Torres pump really didn't hold that much. I mean, yeah, we're up a couple cents, okay? Pre-Torres pump, we were sitting there just under 50 cents, and now we're at like 52, all right? So yes, we did gain something from the Torres pump, and that came from this last ETF action. But we have to look at all of these, and we have to seriously look at the whiteboard sooner or later. Seriously, if you predict a dollar, ten dollars, five dollars, and you're predicting shit every couple days, and they're just getting crazier and crazier and bigger and smaller, sooner or later you'll be right. Not to the high end, but just with calling shit out. But check it out though. Since the Torres correction, all right, we're basically moving a little bit sideways. We did get the pump here, but we saw we erased most of the pump as seen right here from the ETF action. That's why I asked you earlier. If Bitcoin ETF gets approved, will the pump last and will there be a dump? More importantly, have you been taking profits on these pumps and dumps or have you been hodling? Hodlers have not been rewarded. But playing the swings, oh, you've definitely been rewarded in lining your pockets with green. But here you go. This is the last five days. You can see the pump from the ETF. Kind of had that erosion on the way down. Most of you out there thinking exactly what I am, that, yep, we're going to go right back to that 51 and a half under 52 cent mark. Why nothing is holding in the crypto world right now? And the problem is, and major publications are talking about this. I mean major. How about Cointelegraph? Cointelegraph calling out lies in the space regarding bad reporting, even said in their article that it is damaging to the crypto industry. I wonder what other, you know, YouTuber out there, what other news agency has been calling that? Hmm, this one. Now, the problem I have with most of these price prediction videos is they're very one layered. I did one that was very, very in depth talking about global situations, not just US situations, but global. And yet people didn't seem to wanna hear that. They kept trying to say, oh bro, we're... no, but they couldn't ever bring out facts. What's really starting to bug a lot of us out there is these over-promising of stuff and under-delivering hurts the market worse than if we say, hey, you know what? XRP expectations to get to a dollar. And then all of a sudden we get to a dollar twenty. We're like, oh, get yeah, this is this is freaking awesome. This is great. But no, when you're sitting there calling for a four hundred dollar XRP and we don't even break 90 cents on the Taurus action, of course people are gonna sell off because they're like Oh my God, but I was I was told that we were going to be like driving Lambos. No, we're going to be driving Mini Cooper convertibles. Thank you, Trick, for that comment. All right, if you want to see my in-depth price analysis, that's this video right here. If you want to see major crypto publications calling out BS YouTubers like I've been doing and BS Twitter users, that's this video right here. What am I doing today? Hey, I survived the storm quite well. Going to do a little bike ride this morning. What are you cool cats going to do? You're going to check out one of those two videos and have a great rest of your day.